Königsegg Jamira. Jamira is actually a name my mother came up with for this car. It's Swedish for to give more. Ge mera. And then we pushed that together into a new word. So it became the Jamira. <clears throat> what does that mean? We believe this car really gives more. We have a full size mega car it is a mid-engine car it gives the impression of being a mid-engine car but inside you have an interior space never before seen in even a gt sports car you can be four two meters persons fitting in this car front and rear you don't even need to move the front seats backwards or forwards to get in and out of the rear seat the Koenigsegg door system really comes into play here because you can park this car right next to another one, this close, and open the door fully. Uh, it's really practical. We have some sensors up here, so if you're in a low garage, it will stop a little bit early. Uh, but this is designed to fit in 95% of all garages in the world. But if you have a really low one, it will stop at an earlier angle. <clears throat> you also have sensors stopping the door going out if there would be an obstacle here. Uh, but it is also cleared for high curbs, which is practical. So the technology behind this car is truly unheard of. The combustion engine is 600 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque from a three-cylinder engine. It is really a little monster of an engine. It is only two liters, but it has twin turbo and it has free valves. And it is designed to run on renewable fuels. It is capable of being CO2 neutral, the engine and the car. So we really want to put an end to fossil fuel dependency on combustion engines. And the advantage of doing that is that Compared to a pure electric car, this one is at least 30% lighter than it would otherwise be with that range and power if it was pure electric. So you get a more agile, <coughs> roomier car with better acceleration, better cornering, better braking, still CO2 neutral capable if you find the right fuel. It is flex fuel, so you can run on what, whatever you can find basically, but it is optimized and envisioned to run on renewable biofuels. And we really want to push that side of the automotive industry. Electric cars are great, but there are not enough uh, charging stations around, and it's difficult to produce cells quickly enough for worldwide implementation. So this is a parallel track where you get a lighter car, more performance, CO2 neutral, basically emission-free with all the particle filters and everything, and especially if you run on alcohols, it's extremely clean. And if you fill it up on renewable alcohol, and you can also plug it in and fill up uh, electricity, you can be as CO2 neutral and as environmentally friendly as a pure electric car. It is also a sports car, of course, so you do get the sound uh, from the combustion engine. And when, when I say three-cylinder, of course, it sounds like a tiny little engine that won't sound so exciting. But if we open up the rear here, you will see that we have a titanium Akrapovic exosystem that is tuned to make this engine sound amazing. 
And as it is two liter engine, you have very big cylinders, even though there are only three. So you get this guttural grunt, which really suits the character of the car. And if you come closer again, you can see in the back here, we have a pretty big boot space with three full-size carry-ons. And if you go to the front, we have, if we open up the front, we have space for one more. So for each passenger, there is a full-size carry-on. And of course, if you're only three persons, you can also use one of the rear seats for a bigger bag or a golf bag or something like that. It is truly designed for long distance travel. If you fuel it up fully and charge it up fully, you have a thousand kilometer range. That is quite exciting. Of course, you probably need to go to the toilet or something before you use up all of that energy. But we want to show you don't have to stop for any other reason than basically your own personal needs until you reach your destination. I haven't talked about power performance yet. <clears throat> How about 3,500 newton meters of torque? How about 1,700 horsepower? It is truly unheard of, the power level for a four-seater. Uh, not only is it powerful four-seater, it is four-wheel drive. Um, so the combustion engine, together with an electrical motor, drives the front axle. And the front axle has a hydraulic clutch for each output shaft. So you get torque vectoring on the front axle. In the rear, we have one 500 horsepower electrical motor with a thousand newton meters each for each rear wheel. So again, you get torque vectoring. So four wheel drive, four wheel torque vectoring and four wheel steering. So the chassis of this car is truly state of the art. We can play around with so many variables to make it steady as a freight train on the Autobahn and agile around the corners, around the track, because we can play with all of these parameters in a, in a, in a truly astounding way. It is a full carbon fiber construction, body, monocoque, chassis, everything. It has a, 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 a global rigidity of 40,000 newton meters per degree from axle to axle which is really astonishing for a four-seater. The weight, the curb weight, well, our production aim is 1,880 uh, kilos or so. The aim is to stay under 1,900. Uh, with this kind of uh, fuel size, battery size, four-seater, full-size car, it is a really competitive weight. So, please enjoy. Thank you so much.